Aloha from the beautiful island of Oahu. So I want to talk about today. I, I know a lot of some of the times of the stories, you know, there's a lot of news that's like pretty like, Ugh, and it can be pretty depressing. <laughs> so I try to find some stories where there's like, there's some good stuff going on and maybe there's some hope. And I found this article on ecowatch.com about the world's largest artificial sun now shining in Germany. It was written by Lorraine Chow and it came out on March 23rd. And it, it's, it's, it's pretty cool because as I've discussed on this show, green energy, green tech is, is technology. Fossil fuels are just finite resources that are dirty and they're gonna run out. So what is gonna fuel the uh, green energy is technology. The more that we advance, and as we all know, technology is exponential. It gets cheaper and smaller and faster every whatever, every 18 months. So putting money into that is important and, and it is critical. So there's this, uh, the German Aerospace Center in the town of Julich switched on Project Sinlight to test ways to make carbon-free fuel. And what it is, is it's, um, I'm just learning about this, concentrated solar. They have these in Dubai, Nevada, Morocco, I believe, where they take these giant um, solar panels and concentrate them and create uh, electricity. What this plant is trying to get at is cheaper ways to create hydrogen. Many people are touting, touting hydrogen as the fuel of the future. I've talked about it a little on this show and I'm, as I'm learning more about it. So hydrogen uh, is, is clean burning. The issue, as I'm sure many of you know, is just infrastructure. So like a hydrogen car, it's expensive to produce. And then where are we going to fill up? You can lease some hydrogen cars right now. And there's some, uh, like I know, like I think Mercedes Benz had one and you just get you pay this lease and it includes your fuel and you go to a dealership and that's how you fill up. So that might not be practical for many people, but you need that sort of first generation. I saw Elon Musk speak about uh, early uh, last year, unveiling of the Tesla, the Model 3, I believe that's coming out later in 2017. And he was like, he showed that the, the generations, and he's like the first model was just this two seat sports car. And then the second model, the second generation was this and he, there was in the audience was a bunch of owners and he's like i thank you so the people that put money into the early models helped finance to get the technology to get better and better so um it, it's 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 a interesting thing and i and i wanted to talk about it because i want i want to learn more about it and i'd love for you guys to learn more about it and if you know more about this than i do please send me information because i'd love to talk about it so i'll read a couple excerpts here from the from the article. You've probably heard of concentrated solar before. Um, they involve a large field of movable mirrors that can harness sunlight and power a steam turbine to generate electricity. Likewise, Sinlight researchers, this is the facility in Germany, are investigating the possibility that a similar setup could be used to power a reaction to extract hydrogen from water vapor, which could then be used as a fuel source for airplanes and cars, according to the Gu Guardian. Hydrogen fuel, which has zero pollutant emissions and no greenhouse gases, um, is the fuel of the future. Hydrogen is produced by electrolysis, the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen and requires large amounts of electricity. Hydrogen fuel projects are seen as cost prohibitive on a commercial scale, which is that's the issue. But as the Associated Press explained, researchers hope to bypass the need for electricity by harnessing the vast and renewable energy of the sun instead. And it's starting to, like Germany is, is on the forefront. They just launched their first zero emissions hydrogen train. So it's a light rail train it's, that runs on hydrogen. That's pretty awesome. And it's gonna take some generations of this. Toyota has their new Mirai, which is a hydrogen. They bought ad time for the Super Bowl to get people on board with this car, which if I had the money, I would, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd get electric or hydrogen, but anyway, I want to get off oil myself. Um, so what this experiment 
currently uses is artificial light and requires a lot of electricity to operate. Running the array for only four hours sucks up as much electricity that a four-person household would use in a whole year. The project is also expensive. It's $3.8 million. But what the researchers are hoping to do is produce hydrogen and if they start if they can produce hydrogen and get the hydrogen costs down then this solar facility becomes more viable and so i'm going to put the link below and there's a bunch of other awesome related articles on ecowatch.com i just found this site so here's some hope and again if you can support any of these technologies in any way either buying one of these cars or just donating to their research, that's important. Every little thing helps. And as I've talked about before on this show, I try to take public transportation. I try to ride my bike more just using less oil because I don't want to give those dicks my money. <laughs> so like, subscribe. The Patreon link is below. Uh, I love all you new viewers that have come on from the Jimmy Dore show and uh, the Young Turks and everything. You guys are great. And I appreciate all the comments that you're posting below. And some of you are giving me articles and new information, which I appreciate as well. So stay vigilant.